afternoon's about 1.30, heading out, um, going back to the uh, farm where we have you know, private permission to hunt there. I've decided to, um, if there's a doe that presents an opportunity, I'm gonna take that opportunity. But um, yeah, my wife said uh, she wants some more hamburger meat. So, <laughs> okay, I'll do my best. Okay, guys. I went back as deep as I could. Three real good trails converging together in one spot. Right there. I forgot the mechanism that I could screw the camera on with, so. Which sucks, but it was raining a little bit, but now it stopped. Well, as you would have guessed, because I had no camera other than the GoPro, I shot a doe. Can't celebrate because when I shot her, she ran, stopped, flicked her tail, hunched up, and then bedded down, bedded down um, about 30 yards behind my stand in a, in a thick brush, in some thick brush. I do not like wounding these animals and I, I, I don't I thought the shot was good maybe she was quartering to me to just a hair but uh, both of those deer stayed there till they till till dark and I waited about half hour after dark didn't hear him walk around walk walk away lowered my bow didn't hear anything run off of course it was a little bit windy still packed everything up got down to my third step from the bottom and I heard multiple deer run off. So I checked my arrow. The arrow basically showed all gut. It was brown. There was some uh, dark brown hair and white hair on it. I uh, took some steps. Then I saw drops of dark blood, which made me think again it was liver. And where Obviously where she bedded down, there was a pile of blood and then um, for another 10 yards there's a good blood trail and then it disappeared uh, Randy came out we just did a, 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 a small search from the last blood out out 10 yards back out 10 yards back kind of like in a in a half half moon just to see if we could pick blood back up and and, um, and we didn't so we backed out I, uh, I'm hoping that uh, I find I find her um, in the morning, and uh, and that the coyote we got a bunch of coyotes back in that area, and I uh, hope I find her before before they do. 
maybe I'll get my daughter, uh, who's 13, um, involved in the tracking. Maybe it's an opportunity to get her her started on it. But uh, I mean, it's a it's a good hunt. Saw other deer and everything. It's just you know, it's, it's discouraging and heartbreaking when uh, when we don't put that lethal hit on the animal we're chasing. All right, happy Thanksgiving, 6.30 in the morning. Heading out to uh, look for the doe that I shot last night. I have my daughter Carly with me. This is her first experience in tracking a deer. And she just asked me, what's this process all about? Um, I'm gonna answer that question. But the first part of the process starts with going to Wawa, getting some coffee and some hot chocolate and a bottle of water. So that's what we're gonna do. And on the way, I'm gonna to explain to her what, what the plan is once we get out to the woods. All right, we were walking out. It's just after seven. Strong winds today. <coughs> Carly, what do you think? I don't know, it's cold. It is cold. The wind, it's actually about 44, but with the wind chill, it's about 25. <laughs> but uh, we're hoping we can find her. See if we can get back on that blood trail. Find her rather quickly. This is good, good quality time with my daughter. <laughs> experience for sure. Well, still no blood from the last blood that we saw last night. So Carly and I just kind of been walking trails to look for blood. And now we're about close to 200 yards from where we saw last blood. And we're walking back towards last blood. Just doing a just doing a grid search type thing. This is not looking good. You found her. Did you find her? What? Oh, good job. Good job. Oh, it's a little one. This is... Oh. She found her. This is a good... <laughs> she found her. It's a little... It's a little doe farm, but... Yeah. Alright, so... You saw that Carly found that deer. Which is great news. So thankful for that. The unfortunate news is... Is that it was a... Uh, it was a button buck. And I never... Never made that mistake before. Obviously, I thought it was a doe, but uh, yeah, I guess that happens if you hunt long enough. Maybe it's just a lack of experience, need, need <laughs> glasses or something. Um, Carly, what did you think of the whole, the whole experience? I don't know. It was interesting. Yeah? What about the field dressing part of it? Do you think you'd ever? Do you think you'd ever want to hunt? Maybe. Well, if you do, I'll field dress it for you. Yeah. You want to do that maybe one day? Sure. <laughs> All right. Um, deer's hanging. Gonna have it hang for a few days. It's cold enough. I'm going to attempt to butcher this one myself. I've already checked it in. I had to check it in as a um, a buck under three inches of antlers. Man, I just I feel terrible about that. Like our whole goal is to thin out the doe herd, and here I am, just you know, honest mistake, taking a baby, uh, baby button buck, basically. But anyway, happy Thanksgiving to everybody there. Enjoy your family. If you're out in the field, enjoy your time out there. Be safe. Talk to you soon. See ya. <laughs>